what I'm filming. Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hello, my name is Simon Banza and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am currently um, in Durban at the Southern Sun Hotel. I was here to celebrate my YouTube birthday and uh, yeah, I had a dinner with Google. It was really cool. It is my third birthday today and I thought that I would do a video called Three Mistakes South African YouTubers Commonly Make, something like that. I don't know, I took a lot of the things I have issues with, with um, myself and the community at large, um, and I chose three of them that I think that would really help other people because they've helped me too. So take it or leave it, um, but these are my, my three things for you guys not to do, this is for South African YouTubers, tell your friends who are YouTubers, tell your friends who want to start YouTube channels. These are the three things that Sibu said do not do. Okay. Oh, shit. So number one, this is probably the most obvious one I need you guys to remember, is do not go into it for the money. Um, most of these tips do sort of mesh together, so if you feel like they, they're all the same thing, then it probably is. Don't do it for the money. It's a long-term game, especially if you're in South Africa. If you're starting a YouTube channel, especially a lifestyle channel like mine where you speak to the camera, you do not want to start it assuming you are going to earn enough money um, for you to survive by yourself, right? There is possibilities to earn money. It took me three years, basically, to be comfortable. So to earn enough money to um, be able to, you know, pay my own rent, groceries, transport, and things like that. And even then, every now and then, I really struggle. There are like dry months where I don't get any work um, from social media. So do not go into it for the money. It is a long-term game. Don't rush. When you start your YouTube channel, it is going to be slow. We are in South Africa. We're not in the UK. We're not in America. We're not in a place where um, YouTube is something that is just watched by everybody and people understand YouTube content creators so do not be in a rush if you've had 200 subscribers for the past two months it's okay just keep on pushing do not be in a rush don't be in a rush to get a million subscribers it's not going to happen overnight it's probably going to take me until the end of the year or next year to reach 10,000 subscribers that's more than I ever expected to reach on YouTube don't rush the process and trust in the process if you have 200 subscribers and you want to collab with somebody find other youtubers with 200 300 100 subscribers and collab with them don't try and jump the gun when i was looking for people to collab with i always look for people who were sort of in the same range as me um and i find that that really helps because then you guys end up building each other up so yeah, don't rush don't rush we can carry on talking about this in the comments but don't rush the process i promise you it's a beautiful community it's a beautiful like youtube world don't rush it i know everybody else seems to have these gang numbers and you don't but don't rush the process and also thirdly and lastly something i did in the beginning is copy other youtubers when i say copy other youtubers i don't mean like copy their content but i mean like you look at something that somebody else does and it looks like something that brings success right for me that was comedy i always assumed that i had to be the funny guy um in order to get a lot of views get a lot of subscribers and that just wasn't me and you can see it in my content is, is if you find it funny that's good but in the beginning i actively try to be funny which is not it's not me and then when I started doing current affairs and you know speaking about social issues and lifestyle things that's when I started really enjoying my channel and that's when my channel started growing so don't look at other YouTube channels you like and think that you have to emulate that in order to be successful find what you enjoy talking about and talk about that and if it is a little bit of something else that somebody else does if you look at my content and you like I also really enjoy talking about social issues that's fine then you can do that I'm saying don't do it just because it gets me views and you think it's gonna get you views does that make sense does that make sense Gwen? okay and that's pretty much it that's where I'm gonna end it off um, I, I, I hope that didn't come off as malicious I really want to help the YouTube community because with a lot of these things I had to figure them out myself and it took me a while to figure them out and I hope that this helps for people who want to start YouTube channels or for people who've already started YouTube channels and lastly I just want to say thank you um, three years is a very very short and very long time to have been doing this thing and yeah I've been doing this for three years and I'm going to do it for another three years and another three years after that and I just want to say thank you um, without you guys I wouldn't be able to do anything that I'm doing right now I'm extremely happy with my life as difficult as it can be to be in this industry 
I would not change it for anything else. Shout out to Gwen behind the camera. Gwen's amazing. She's the one who makes all this happen. I'm just a pretty face. Please, please, please subscribe. We're trying to get you 7,000 subscribers. If you want to watch my last video, click up there. If you want to subscribe, click down there. I love you very much, Lee, and I will see you in another one. Peace. I did it when they said I could it. Got it when they said I would it. Why would they say that I should it? Look at the work that I put in. I did it when they said I could it. Got it when they said I wanted